So um, I've been asked to uh, make a quick video of how I made these planters. Um, so I'll just show you them. Hang on. So basically, all it is is a bit of broken up pallet with some legs. You can just see the top of the leg here. I've just had a bit of old rope I've made a rope handle out of it on each side. These are green things are called plants, and um, you can buy them and plant them, and they come out with a lot of different colour things. This is called dirt. That's dirt. Anyway, carrying on, there's a little one there. I'll make a little one. Some more plants some plants so, um, anyway these are me uh, yeah workhorse things I'll uh, show you those in a minute and there's uh, some timber that I've just got to make some more plants with so first things first oh, I'll cut the rosy I've got foxies just gonna sit there and watch and look, I've got it in the bogs to Brexit mug my oh one of the things I have noticed when watching all these sort of DIY videos is they always have a little bit about PPE so uh, hang on a sec now we're working with power tools and dusty wood it's quite dangerous so you have to make sure that you've got your high vis good hard hat in case a plane falls out the sky a dust mask to stop the virus some goggles and uh oh and air protectors as well because you never know what might happen I can't bloody breathe in this. Oh, actually, let me just finish my tea first. <clears throat> okay, so uh, I'm making some pallet boxes. These are three boxes, um, 60 centimetres by 30 centimetres, with 40 centimetre legs to sort of, but the boxes are probably about 30 centimetres deep. Um, so for you, you need some sides. So. If you work out what side you need, um, the maths is a bit sort of, I don't know, eight bits is, is for the sides and then for the ends, um, six bits. Uh, legs, uh, you need legs with curvy bits, because well, everyone likes curvy legs, don't they? Come on, let's face facts. So that's eight 16 centimetre bits and I'm using that 100 by 22 millimetre. Uh, wood six 30 centimeter bits for the south ends. I know really that should be 25 or thereabouts, but I'm not bothered about that. Uh, four legs, um, blonde, uh, blonde, uh, I don't know what that's there, uh, and that's out of 47 by 47, and that's at each box. So, um, yeah, but I know I'm, I, I got one pallet and I made two and a half boxes, so but. Let's see, we'll, we'll see. Haha. <laughs> so these are my saw horses, they're quite good actually. Um, very robust and adaptable for uh, bits and pieces, different levels and whatever. They're called tough built. You can leave one of these things to cut the wood, unless you're a lazy ass, or a lazy ass like me would use one of these noisy things. Other people might use a handsaw. Um, some, you know, PP gloves. Need a, one of them things, I don't know what it does really. Pencil, sharpie, because you always have to have a sharpie, and a tape measure. The legs, and uh, I've marked out on the that's a pencil mark, 40 centimetres sections. Three bits of this will give me uh, 20, 20 legs, or, or thereabouts, 24 legs, which is fine, because I'm making six more boxes. Um, anyway, so this is really noisy. I'll cut this. And this is basically, you know, there's not much to it really, it's just cutting wood, isn't it? Hang on. Right, so there's my legs, all nicely cut. 40 centimetres long, 47 millimetres square, those bits, and I've used um, pressure treated timber. You could use a pallet or anything like that, really. Okay, so a bit like Blue Peter here, someone I've cut before, sort of job. So we've got Short ones for the ends, 60 by for the uh, sides, and then obviously legs, bits and pieces. And uh, yeah, a little bit of a vacuum up. I think it's time for another cup of tea and maybe a chocolate biscuit. Thing is to note is not to uh, leave your bollocks to Brexit mug, because it gets loads of sawdust in it. Hey ho. 
Okay, so now that we've um, cut all over our bits of timber, it's a bit time for a bit of assemblage, as it were. So uh, let's let's get on with that. Hang on. So I'm just laying out the end here. So basically, I've got two pieces of of the shorter timber, 30 centimeters. I've got a measurement from the top here to the bottom here of 26 centimeters. That's going to allow me to put a piece in there like that. That makes the inner side, as it were. I've stepped my leg off the top by the thickness of this, so, I, so the leg doesn't show when it's in the pot, as it were. And obviously you can see it's flush this side. Now I'm gonna fix through here and here with one screw, flip it over, put two screws in the other side, and then I'll probably take these, these ones out. Um, I'll show you that in a sec. Right, so this is one of the ends. So what I did was I laid it out on the side on the reverse. I drilled these holes, screwed them through, and then that's all nice to laid out. I put these screws in, and then I've gone back taking the other ones out because it's pointless having them screws in there. So and then I've done the same on the side, laid it out like that. This um, piece of wood is is twenty across here, like that sort of thing. Um, this wood is really wet, so, but uh, I've drilled out the rope holes basically with a 19 mil bit. And so you can see how wet this wood is, it's just ridiculous, but that's fine, it's going to be outside anyway. Um, and so that's the end. Uh, and then now we we'll basically do the same sort of thing again to fit like that, but I'll show you that in a sec. Right, so now we've got. This side fixed, and this side fixed. It's just a case of putting on the top two pieces. So, uh, let's grab a couple of them. Basically, something like that. Screw them in, and uh, I'll show you what's next. These pieces are just um, stapled through with a nail gun, basically. Just to give it a bit of a rebate on there, sort of thing. Um, obviously, legs screwed in, whatever. Um, I've just jigsawed these on, so they basically will fit kind of like that. And then that last piece will go in there. Um, obviously, you've got a slot here. It's fine, you need a bit of drainage. I normally put a plastic... Um, bag you know like a bag that you get compost in to line this and that will keep it keep the mud and dirt in there so basically just going to screw them in that's kind of it really obviously and then paint it there you go finished box obviously I need to paint it and I'll put the ropes in this box is one that I've screwed this together uh, using deck screws um, Bear in mind that when you screw deck screws and stuff, that this wood will probably split if you don't drill it out first. Um, yeah, uh, what else? Obviously, these, these painting and stuff lying in. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of it. I managed to do that without cutting my hand off, which is amazing.